एवरीवन वी आर गोइंग टू मेक अ रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन फोकल लेंथ यफ एंड रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर आर ऑफ स्पेरिकल मिरर सो रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन यफ एंड आर वी विल स्टेब्लिश द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन फोकल लेंथ एंड रेडियस ऑफ कर्वेचर इन केस ऑफ कानक्यू मिरर and convex mirror also so see here carefully how the relationship will be set up between f and r here in this concave mirror consider this principal axis principal axis is here pole center of curvature focal point here in this we are going to take incident ray falling on concave mirror this incident ray is parallel to the principal axis we are knowing in the law of refraction a reflection after reflection from the surface of a concave mirror it always passes through the focal point let us draw tangent a uh, normal here in this case it is p and let this point is p dash p c f angle of incidence i and uh, angle of reflection r now see carefully here in it angle b p dash c is equal to angle c p dash f c p dash this f this implies that angle i is equal to angle r this both angle is equal by the law reflex let us it is a question number 1 now what we are going to take in it see the two ray uh, two straight line this line is bp dash which is parallel to cp and it is intersect bp dash is a parallel to principal axis cp and both is intersect by line which line cp dash in that condition the alternate angles are equal so see carefully it is alternate angle means angle b p dash c means angle i angle p is equal to p dash c f p dash c f see this two angles are equal so if it is i this angle is i since i is equal to r consider this is equation number 2 here in this equation number 2 what the things we can do see in the diagram i is equal to r and this is angle i it means that this both angles is also equal this implies that angle p dash c f is equal to angle c p dash f and it is equal to either say angle i or angle r 
again this implies that triangle C F P dash. See in this angle uh, C F P dash. These two angles are equal. So in this triangle, if two angles are equal, then it is known as iso scalis triangle. In this type of a triangle, the two sides are equal. See this two side are equal. Then one may write C F is equal to F. P dash. If both are equal, now see carefully. If P dash is very close to P, if both is close, very close, this angle is very small. Then we may write C P dash nearly equal to C P. Nearly equal to C P. See, see here in this equation, this is equation three we will take, and it is equation number four. Now again see in the diagram carefully. What is here? CP. This is radius of curvature. And this angle is focal length. Now one more thing. See in the diagram. If P dash is close to P, then we can also F P nearly equal to F P dash. F P nearly equal F P dash. This is equation number five. Now see here in the diagram. This both is equal and this equal to this. So what can we do? See, this is both equal, and uh, this is equal to. It means that point F lies at midpoint of CP. So what this imply? Point F lies at midpoint of CP. So what is this? Since CP is equal to R and uh, FP is equal to y F, then one may write FP is equal to half of the CP FP is this focal length is equal to R by two R R is equal to two F. This is a required relation can be represented as equation number six. Now same relation we will try to set up for convex mirror also. This is a convex mirror. Principal axis. Let this is center of curvature, and uh, this point is focus. So now see for it. Let a parallel beam of light is allowed to fall on a convex mirror. Convex mirror has a scattering property. That is why after a reflection, it. Scattered move away from the principal axis. If one proceed back this reflected light, it seems to come from focal point F. Incident ray, reflected ray. So normal is required here. Normal is drawn. Here from center of curvature, in both cases, let this is 
pole P dash point B here take this point is normal N and take this point as M here it is angle of incidence I and it is angle R now see carefully here angle I that is BPN angle BPN is equal to angle NPM NPM this is equal to angle I is equal to angle R treat this whole as equation number 1 and it is obtained from law of reflection law of reflection speaks i is equal to r in this case now see two line nc and mf intersect in that condition vertically opposite angle are equal this is if this angle is r this angle will also R. So angle NPM angle NPM is equal to angle FPC. The region of the equality is what? And this is equal to angle R. Take as equation number 2 it is why the reason is verti because it is vertically opposite angle so now see again here in the diagram angle n p m c it is and uh, now see parallel line BP and PC PP dash it is and PC and it is intersect by another line NC in that condition alternate angles are equal this angle is equal to here I so we may write since write this line BP dash line is parallel to line PC and intersect by line NC then angle I that is angle P uh, B P dash N is equal to angle F P dash C. This is equation number three. Now see here in this uh, diagram since now this angle becomes I and it is R. Angle I is equal to R according to the law of refraction. So in triangle P dash EFC is isoscaling triangle. So this implies that triangle P dash FC is isoscaling triangle. Isoscaling triangle means these two sides are equal. What these two sides? Fc is equal to Fp dash represent by equation 4. Now see here in this equation Fc is equal to F4. Now consider if P dash is close to P then Fp is equal to approximately FP dash. So if 
P dash is very close to P. Then one may write FP approximately equal to FP dash. This is F, FP dash. And take it as equation number 5. Now see here in the diagram. This is equal. Now three sides are equal. And in the diagram. PC is focal length of convex mirror. Uh, radius of curvature. And P of. Focal length of convex mirror. And both are equal. Then we may write. R is equal to if it is F. And both are equal then it will be also F. So R can be represented as by the diagram F plus F. R is PC is equal to PF plus FC. So it is equal so R can be written as 2F or F is equal to R by 2 and it is represented by equation number 6. Now see in both f is equal to r by 2, f is equal to r by 2 in both it is by concave mirror and it is by convex mirror the formula is same this is this both equation represents a relationship between focal length f and radius of curvature r so see it is this is the required relation between both this is for the topic only thank you and have a nice day